Oh my God, I can't believe how gorgeous you are. Also, it's time to talk about Factor. With Factor, you can skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality that you need. Get 50% off using code OPTIC50 at factormeals.com slash OPTIC50. That is factormeals.com slash OPTIC50. Here it is. 3.32 and 3.45 a.m. Alarms are set. I'm going to fucking be, like, I'm going to feel like alarm. I'm in war when I wake up to that. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? You go up, you turn on the street. Yeah, you the, can't door dash What anything. the hell is that? It's going to be insane. There's no, you, can't you, actually, even, you can't even get coffee that early. You can't door dash anything. Guys, to episode 139 of the Optic Podcast, uh, as myself, Seth, Yo. Methods, Anthony, and uh, Bose. Just making sure I couldn't remember. You have nine names, you know. Anthony, Zin, Zinny, Tony, Big Back, Fat Tony. The fuck, fat ass, yeah. wide, <laughs> double wide, loser, <laughs> weirdo, coward. The hell, nerd, <laughs> <laughs> geek. <laughs> Sorry. Um. We're we're straight back from uh, last night. We we got back from the uh, the Ranger Stadium Optic Night happening. Optic logo right there did on Joe, the did, almost a pitch on the field on the diamond. Seth that? threw the worst. Seth threw the worst first pitch I've seen in my entire life. Uh, that's not true. It wasn't the worst you've seen. We all saw fifty cents. It was up there. Was it? He, he, he came back in the suite. No, I'm just fucking around. He came oh. back in the suite. Everyone's oh my god, you did so good. And I looked at him and I said. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> that was horse. It was a little bit of a ground. It was. A, it was like when you were throwing balls to shortstop. Well, no, he told me to get up on the mound. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna throw it from right here. I like told him I was like, I'm gonna throw it from right here. I was in front of the mound, like on the grass still, and he was like, no, and he like Damn. he did that, and I was like, I I to, instantly said hell. To be, no. to be fair, to be fair, I would have shit myself. Yeah, he told me to like, go up, and I said hell. No. That's and like he was like yep. And I was like, oh, dude. Like, I feel like playing on main stage, playing on main stage in COD, you're like in the front and everyone's like in front of you. Whereas like you're on the mound next to there's like 40,000 people in a circle. It's just like all just staring at you you as a singular person. I would have shit myself. There wasn't 40,000 people. Like when it filled up, there was, it was sold out. Yeah. But like when I, yeah, during the, yeah. I mean, there was probably what? 30,000. Yeah. Like 20, 25, something like 25,000 people staring at you. Was there? Yeah, yeah definitely. Was, I mean, it was, was like a decent amount of people. There, that was yeah. like a huge game, and it was like thirty minutes before the. I looked around. And there was a lot of empty seats when I threw it. <laughs> Dude, that he place didn't have filled the best up. View in the house. <laughs> <laughs> he, did, yeah. he, he would know better than we. <laughs> yeah. That place filled up so quick. Yeah, all Astros fans. That was actually sick yeah, it though. It was all Astros fans. Dog, it was like the Astros got a hit, and I thought like, like the Rangers did. Well, every time a, an Astros batter went up, it was like a mix of booze, and but I couldn't tell what it was. It was like. It was booze, but also cheers. And then that Bregman dude was getting fucking applauded. I yeah. think, I think the Astros fan base was just no, more not Bregman, Seager. That Seager guy is crazy. He hit back. He had uh, two homers. Corey two Seager. homers still to lose. Tough. Yeah. And I he was, ripped them. I was literally walking out of the stadium when the second homer hit, and I was like, "Well, that's good. At least, like, you know, yeah, we'll win on Optic Night." That was my last thought before I left the stadium. And then I checked Twitter on the Uber home, and I was like. Well, so yeah, we had like a, <laughs> oh, no. so we had like the suite up top, but we also had like a, I wouldn't say we had it, but there was like a field suite, which is like field level where like, you're like literally on like level with the players, which was sick. So like we had four seats in there. So we all took turns kind of like Hector went down, me and Hilton went down. And as soon as we got down there, that's when seven run inning, like <laughs> we got down there and we just saw six home runs and I was like, what the fuck? And the entire uh, was it every, cool to see it from down there? It was insane. It was actually because like the the batters are right in front of you, like swinging, warming up. Wow! Like I could have been saying hell? crazy shit, <laughs> <laughs> and they would have yeah. and they would have heard me. Like that they would have heard me. Crazy shit. They've probably heard worse. Can you imagine? Oh, You're yeah. fucking both of you turn around to me. <laughs> the six foot <laughs> three smiling. baseball player. <laughs> That's fucking great. But that was that. I mean, that was that was dope. Yeah, that was that was that was fun. Our there, second Rangers night. I'm glad that this year, you know, the results weren't that great as far as the game is concerned. But the this year was a lot more hype than last year because the game, like, I think last year Rangers night was after they were already, yeah, they we, couldn't qualify yeah, for playoffs. They were, and They were getting railed. Yeah, they yeah were this getting, game was huge. Um, yeah. This game was, like, 
It was like Sick. they're they're both competing for playoffs. Yeah, <clears throat> and it's like both Texas teams. Like yeah. that was actually dope. <clears throat> yeah, that two more sick. games. Two more games in the series today and tomorrow. And we just got um we got done last week filming a, a baseball video, a home run derby. Oh yeah. We won't spoil anything. But when does that come out? I hope you did well. You better have. When does that come representing out? Representing Bayonne, New Jersey. <laughs> the tri state. I'm not gonna lie, it was harder than harder than I thought it was gonna be. Hitting a baseball after not hitting a baseball yeah. for probably twelve it's years like is very, is very, very, very hard. Sore. I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's hitting shit you've never hit in yeah. years. Yeah, I'm like, whoa, did I pull my that back? Limit. That shit yeah, was, Shay, my back was killing me. Same. That shit was fun, though. Like, it made me, as soon as we left, I was like, I think we should join a softball league. I'm like, down, but like not. it's got to be like a fall summer, like yeah, a fall, fall or like, spring. It's got to be 75. Yeah. If yeah, I walked out and it was 108, I would just walk back oh, to the car. Dude. Walk out, walk. Yeah, right it'd back. be like that fucking meme where the guy walks in the little wood door, just immediately puts his hat down, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. walks right back out. <laughs> Who? What's that from? Ren and Stimpy? Something like that. And then there's also the the Simpsons one too. That's similar. He just walks in, puts his hat on, walks right out. Yeah, yeah. dude. The <laughs> the merch team. Uh, I asked if I could borrow a hat. I know oh, cat dog. That's what's from. Is it the little blue guy? Is it? Yeah. The merch team asked if I could, or I asked the merch team if I could borrow a hat for something. Um, and so they they let me or they let me borrow this this green hat. It's one of the green hats from the the drop. Oh, they they were it's supposed to be up here, but from it was a green optic hat, baseball hat, and I wore it to that shoot. And we put on I, I had it on backwards, and then we put a whole helmet on. And then there's a GoPro on top of the helmet. And it's like a hundred degrees outside, so we're all sweating. And I you know we shoot the whole video. We're running around and stuff. And then I get back and I get a text. It's like yo. We haven't taken product shots with that green hat, and that's the only one we have. Can you send it back here so we can take product shots with it? And I was like, sweaty as fuck. Dog, I took it off and looked at it. You know, like <laughs> took the whole brim of the whole of the whole. It was just sweat. Hat. It's just sweat. It's just sweat. And it's like dirty under it. Just, just just take the shots and just write game worn. That's what I'm. That's what I said. And just lie about who wore it. Altuve. <laughs> Uh, boom. <laughs> Game worn Aaron Judge. I mean, I, I knew they were they were slammed yesterday when Altuve started going yard. I think Altuve hit two home runs last night. Now, well, Seager hit two. Altuve, Altuve hit might two. have hit two. That guy's quick, dude. I was after, he, after, after he was he hit like a little run. dribbler, and he was at first base by the time the guy even six. touched the ball. I, I, like, don't, I don't know any hell? baseball players besides the the main two. He has like he had like ten home runs and what is it like a hundred. 20 games. You never saw the video of him like two uh, last night. I think it was he, he had a walk off in the playoffs. Like, I don't know if it was last year or a year before. And he was telling him not to take off his jersey. And he was getting accused of like wearing a wire and sh or like wearing something where he could see know what pitch is coming and shit. What? You never yeah, they, saw that scandal? Oh, it's they got caught cheating, right? Yeah. Yeah. They got caught cheating. But yeah, like, that's why a lot of people hate him. But yeah, like, if, it, if, if, uh, if, if a curveball is coming, someone makes a bat, loud ass noise in the stands. Like, doof, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they used to have it in the tunnel. We were talking about it yesterday. They used to have like, They'd use the back screen, and mm -hmm. then they'd have a monitor like in the dugout. And if it, if they saw like a curve coming, they'd hit a trash can in the tunnel. <laughs> that was that, that's like what they were doing. Really? That's the only thing I know about the Astros is the banging on the trash. Those cans. Sick motherfuckers! They, they were in their tunnel just hitting a trash can every time a curveball was coming. And apparently, they came out and said that like all teams do it. They just did it way more obvious. I'm sure. <laughs> like, I'm sure all teams do. One it. little. Yeah. Yeah, just like a. It's uh, it's like you're looking at a certain player, dude. I could. You're telling me, if we were like screen watching a search tournament, no delay, dog, and we were in the same room, you could just look at me and I just go. Going yeah, a. yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there were times. This is they're going A and this is B. There are times where I thought about like, how easy it would going be. B. Like I, if I'm sitting, I'm sitting watching the game. Like I got my vision camera because I'm right there, and like you guys are playing on stage, and I look and I see TK going B, and I just hit you with a little like flashlight it would be easy it would be so easy but like it would be sickening or i have an airpod in it's definitely i wouldn't be surprised if someone's done it and for it. sure someone's done you it. think so no doubt the, the, i mean the most here. notable like the most notorious way to do it is look at the crowd or have like a little earphone to the side you know what i'm saying oh, remember yeah, like back in that to play with their yeah rick yeah rick used to play with his earphone off oh, that's yeah, Ricky really? played that's one earphone off all the time to listen to the casters just like it was like a habit <laughs> like, I <laughs> You're a Clint? <laughs> how often did the crowd how often did the crowd give shit away when you guys played 
Was it often or no? Only diffuses. Yeah, you can only tell during diffuses, really. Oh, okay. Or if like it's like a one v one, and you guys get to like the general vicinity, and like you're about to like see each other, or there's, there's like crazy timing, you'll yeah. know if you're close to somebody because like the crowd be like, oh. I used to pull up one of these, like if someone was diffusing, and like say it's like a one v one, you're diff on the bomb. I'd be like, yo, Ricky, say I saw him. And he'd be like, yo, you saw him, you saw him. And like, <laughs> oh, they, yeah, like yeah. I know they could hear well, what no, I'm saying. No, that worked at like locals in like <laughs> yeah, old school like tournaments. Not in the booster, no. like main stage. Yeah, now that it's like really now it's no, like you no. can't. But back at Ninja yeah. Halo, oh, that hop was... it, hop it, and people, oh, oh shit, he's on it. <laughs> 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 just fuck with him. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that that sounds. So Those are the days. Are you guys you guys gonna play this? I know we talked about it last time, but are you guys are actually gonna like try to play scrims and kickoffs and? I want to, yeah. I mean, I'm down. I know you're gonna be down. I'm I'm gonna gonna be down. That actually happens. I think right now, I think the plan is for like the kickoff creator tournaments, like the actual pro, whatever. Me, you, Shotzi, Pred, and then as of right now, our daily squad is me, you, him, and Nade. Is what is what Nade, Nade? is what Nade wants. He's he, he's texted us on group chat saying I'm actually down to grind. So we'll see. So, but right now, I yeah, think we'll it's see. us three and Nade. I mean, and then he's grinding you, and you said yeah, you and Nate are doing like two v two stuff. Yeah. And you're gonna be doing shit, but I, I like to actually play in the Challengers Cup, just because. Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd I want I want to play the game as if I was a competitor, just to learn it as quick as possible, just so I like actually know and I'm like I'm on the watch party and I can actually yeah. be like you know this this and this. That does make sense. And then I just also want to play. Like I just want to compete, and I feel like it'd be like a fun. I think that'd be fun to watch if you're like watching us scrim Challengers teams, and also fun to play so we'll see and there's dead silence this year so like hopefully the search and destroy community and i'm hoping we bring popping, back ctf you know? i mean if we have the old school maps i think it should be dude, ctf ctf's in dude it's gonna be great i think it has to be oh ctf my God, that shit was so uh, fun so here's the thing though here's Wait, the someone thing. got one flag they got the other what, you guys are quicker? fighting and shit like we've never that, had <laughs> ctf with that with those traditional spawns in a infinity war game besides mw like if you think about ctf or besides mw2 so if you, like the original one. So if you think about like, like CTF games that CTF were in, they're all Treyarchs and then World War Two. Yeah. World War Two was like weird CTF. It's like they there was no overextending. Do you remember? It was like something 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 was weird about it, 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 or World War Two CTF. It was like you always spawn behind your own flag. You never like spawn out and like rotate around. I actually thought World War II had a good CTF. Just, yeah, I thought World War II. Did you? Just, yeah. Well, well Forest, Forest are just boring sometimes, but I think fundamentally it made Flat sense. Tower was great. Yeah, like you had like you had like your main. I actually enjoyed World War II, but I, I get maybe what you're I'm saying. Th maybe I'm thinking of London Docks or something. Like there was some map. London oh, Docks was yeah. crazy. Well, well, Docks was like our auto video because Docks was just like annoying. I mean, you'd see 20 caps. Yeah, there, Docks was Docks was annoying. It just zoom it hitting down mid with a fucking whatever that gun was called and just. BPSH. Straight from the box, and then he. That map was miserable for CTF, but yeah, we also haven't seen it with like slide canceling and like the yeah. faster movement. I'm curious as to what they're gonna do with like the faster movement speed on these old school maps, like because I, I doubt they're gonna scale the maps bigger, so it's gonna be like it's just gonna be a quicker version MW2. But if you think about it, like dude, I I really don't like control. Like I I think control was good in like Black Ops Four. But I think yeah, Black Ops 4 was an outlier. It was a 5v5. You had Agreed. 150 health. You had the power weapons. Like, it was just an outlier where that was, like, the perfect storm for control. And since then, we haven't seen a good, in my opinion, like, a, a consistent, fun, good control game mode. I'd be down to try Demolition again. I'm just not sure if they're willing to, like... I think Demo... I Demo is, like, one of my favorite game types ever. But Imagine I don't... Imagine if they did Demo, ZTF, S, and D. No way. They got to do no, hard point. HP. They have, have to do to it. They have to have hardpoint. Hard Which I'm also curious how hardpoint's going to work on these maps to. too, because we didn't have hardpoint back then. They where have the to. Hard, where are the hardpoint? I don't the know. Hardpoint's going to be on like terminal. Favela. Top, Favela top, might be a hardpoint map. Top heli. Favela. I might come back. Might be. Bro, a hard that's going to be a cheeser. That's that going to be fun as fuck. Grinding this game is actually be so fun. Actually, Dude, that map Skid is Row decent. Might, Skid, Skid Row. Skid, I love. I love that Skid map. Skid Row hardpoint. Demo favela would be fire. Karachi hardpoint, but there's so many like it's so vertical. Can you imagine Selium snaking those stairs on Skid Row? That like corner staircase with that hallway in front of him, and like there's like imagine the, him in uh, high rise and remember that and tunnel the right there and like the staircase, like seeing Selium's little fucking trapping. head. Yeah, you know me, I mean, 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 I it like, seems like fun. Summit, Summit's been playing it. He's been getting his. He's been getting Shroud to play it. Getting Halo is making a fucking Speaking comeback. Speaking of Halo, we got the the cup right here. 
<laughs> <laughs> now that was actually crazy. This thing's pretty uh, pretty good weight to it. A lot of boys, uh, the boys were getting a lot of hate. They it were just so. I mean, to be fair, they had a couple underwhelming performances in comparison to winning three tournaments. But I think they silenced everybody this tournament. And also Trippy, I mean, every single player went crazy. I, you, you saw Brad in the interview was like, I think like I stopped giving a fuck what like people were saying months yeah. ago when we won the worlds or whatever he said. So it's cool to see them like because people are of course you know they need to make a roster change. You know things don't go well and then bang. Well, that's, they just, that's what happens when you have a really good team and you win a good amount. People hold you to that standard. So I mean they were getting they got like third, fourth, and six. So it's not like they were like playing horrible like. They just, people were so, like, they had them on that pedestal of, like, they should be winning everything. So, like, if they weren't winning anything, people said they were playing bad. But, like, they got third, fourth, sixth. Th those aren't horrible placings. I don't think people realize how impressive it is, too. Because I think FaZe and SSG are literally super teams. Like, they literally formed Dude, super damn. teams to, to try and beat, beat Optic. Optic. And, and now they're, they're still yeah. winning. Like, they're still... Like Completely last year, they won the tournament going into Worlds, and now history I think this hopefully biggest, is repeating itself. Was this the biggest tournament of the year for Halo in terms of prize pool? I think so. Yeah, it was, was two fifty. It? it was two. I think oh, it was wow. the biggest tournament so far. Damn, this year. Yeah, you might be right. Yep. That was Paper. Good yeah, that's good dub. Watch it. And next up, there's only one more tournament. It's Worlds. So I can't wait for Seattle. If they back to back again, like they did, that shit would be crazy. Oh, that would be nuts. Seattle, I'll be there. Seattle, dude. Last year, Seattle was a great time. Going to whale watch. About I don't even tour. know what. Well, obviously, you got engaged there, which of course is like just makes the whole thing special. But just Seattle as like a city, I'm not sure if you guys are like. There's certain cities where you just walk around, you're like this city's dope. There's like the layout. You have like the yeah. the market down there. The food was great. It was like it was just a really fun time. The boys won. It was just like the perfect storm. So hopefully, Seattle's a great city. Hopefully, we can repeat that same. Y'all watch party in it? Yeah, yeah we're, we're going. We're going. Oh yeah, absolutely. Us two, I Shotzi and Nick. I can't. Dude. I like can't wait to go. I, I'm like, actually I so for, I'm actually I cannot so wait excited. for that weekend. That's gonna be so fun. And, and I usually don't like to travel, but like I can't wait for that weekend. It's gonna be, yeah. it's gonna be so much fun. Yeah. Speaking of the off season, you guys, uh, the three of you guys are playing in the uh, the off season Black Ops Two Invitational, all on separate teams. And uh, I do have the the first round has already been made, so you guys really want to hear your first round? Yeah. Sure. All right, so it's gonna be uh, Scomp. Fucking How many teams are there? Four? Four, yeah. So you, Damon, uh, Pred, Shotzi. Pred, Shotzi. It's a fucking CDL team, dude. Yeah, but it's BO2. Yeah, okay. And last year on BO2 I was running around trying to fucking dolphin dive and shit, just fucking getting killed. <laughs> Who are they playing? Are they playing <laughs> us or no? Yeah, they're playing you guys. Me. Of course. Me, Nate, Shot, Zuma, Attach. Yeah. Which I feel like is actually a sleeper team because I think I think Attach is going to be good. Attach Tommy asked me how he can play. If Tom's going to be on the pan, we got, I mean, I don't know what he's going to do. If, if Tom's on the pen, if Tom's hitting pen, we're beat. Because <laughs> I know Nade's gonna be back seating. No, that's you guys are gonna be good. I like, think you so. guys have Bo2 experience. See, like we have like cracked players, but like Pred and Ant, I don't know if they've I played Bo2. I think Nade's gonna <laughs> like, be so passionate. I think Nade's gonna Literally. be spewing. Yeah, I mean this is Nade's first land, and yeah, no. I mean, he's gonna be loving it. He is. Oh no, he, he, I mean, when he hit fact, me up, I was like, what? The fact yeah. that Matt wants to come just. Like he fucking he's loves, gonna it. Loving he it. loves yeah. it. He's gonna be loving it. Uh, I can't really wait fun. to shit on you. And what is it? Eighteen days. It's coming up. Holy shit! That just wait. So who do we play? Zaddy. It's the twenty third, right? Yeah, twenty third. Yeah, who's your team? It's you. Oh, who's your team? Me, it's you. Killa, Temp, Nameless. Versus who? Who's 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 the fourth team? Uh, John Clay, Aches, uh, Krim, Krim. Yeah, oh yeah. shit! Okay, oh, that's, that's gonna be that's gonna be a tough one. Yeah. John two eight seven team. round in the corner. Well, Krim's been racing, so <laughs> yeah, I mean, that should be all right. And Name shit. Nameless is one hundred percent gonna be the most passionate person at the whole tournament. Wow, what oh, the fuck? Hundred percent. No, Clay, Clay, Clay might be. Dude, Clay was raging. Clay Remember, Clay was raging shit. last year. Why? Oh, why yeah. did we pull it right? And I was like, dude, shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> like we're playing Black Ops two in twenty twenty two. Shut yeah. up. It Shit's is all delayed. Racks, I, I'm not gonna lie, I got mad last year too, though. No, nah, when we lost the when we lost the Caps team, I got pretty pissed. Really? No, yeah, the, the first time we shit. lost him, I was dude. I was so stressed last year because of the fucking Eagles game. Do you remember how stressed I was? Oh yeah, I had it up on my phone. The Dog. Eagles oh, played. Yeah, the Eagles played that. the Cowboys, right? Yeah, it was like a game, and I worked so hard on this fucking tournament. And then Seth was like, Seth was like, dude, it's like the most important game of the year. And I was like, fuck. So I was trying to run around, like, trying to figure out how to get him to watch the game and play at the same time. He's a selfish piece of shit, isn't he? You work it's hard. A good, it's a good game. You work I mean, hard. It was a, it was, you get I, this event set up and you I just crying about shit. the Eagles. How about you have some I fucking up respect? It. I ended up playing the tournament. I ended up winning the tournament. 
and the Eagles Fuck won. yourself. <laughs> the funniest Eagles shit won. I remember backstage. Remember when Killer drank the Sprite and you looked at him? Do you remember that? So like, Sloss was vaping. I don't think he, I don't, maybe he had a pen and then he was like smoking or whatever. And then he's like, yeah, I did this, this, and this. Had a Sprite and you were like, out of all things, you drank a Sprite? <laughs> Dude, it was a fun, it's, it's probably not funny to actually like tell I the story. I've seen Killer drink soda. Yeah, you had to be there. He was like, you're, you were like, you drank a Sprite? <laughs> like, out never, of all things you just I've said. never seen Killer drink, drink a soda before. Dude, Killer was frying last year. Yeah. Like the first yeah. round. That guy is hilarious. Yeah, I can't wait. That shit was so fun last yeah, year. Yeah, it's going to be fun again. It's going to be so fun. So what is it, just double in? Yeah, double M. Same, same like thing a, as last year. We have like a really fun two week span. We have the off season. Yep. We have COD next, and COD then we next. have and then Seattle. Seattle. But yeah, you guys should come to the off season if you want to see these COD guys next? play. October third through fifth, or fifth through sixth, or something. Do we stream both days? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think yeah. I think it's October fourth and fifth or something. Last year it was only one day. Maybe I don't know. But it was like a segment for multiplayer, a segment for Warzone last year. Yeah, but I'm not. And they, then there's like a they could have changed it up. Segment. But who know, I don't I don't know. But it's gonna be fun. Every little, last year everybody went. Yeah, like, I'm hyped that y'all are going this year. Ninja Tap Man, Nick Merckx. Like I was like surprised at how many well, people showed up. I doubt those two are coming this year. But <laughs> Jim <laughs> but, and Nick. Yeah, but yeah, they probably won't be there. Probably not. But but there was a lot of people there last year, which was sick. Yeah, it was dope. Literally, all it'll like, be my first one. I've never gone. All before. the biggest creators in one room. It was yeah. actually really no. Cool. It literally felt like last year. It felt like a like a summer camp. Cause like at when they when they we get in there we do our orientation and then they're like all right you guys can go like break for to eat and there's like four food trucks and you go out there and there's just like tables and at every table it's just it like, is kind of well no swag and Nadia and like all of them and then like here's like Lou Lou Lovely and like her crew and like it was just like crazy to see destroys walking around just mingling with every table it's, right, right. it's funny because like you just don't put in like. Cause it really is like one big happy family. Like I feel like the competitive space is the same way where it's like once everyone's in the same place, it's like everyone's so comfortable with everybody. Whereas like For even sure. even the creator space, like like on, on a day to day basis, you don't talk. It's impossible to talk to everybody. But like you're hanging out with Iceman Isaac, Repulse, yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's it's just everybody, and just like a big and it's just like a a fun time. So it's just like I, I love shit like that where everyone just gets to get, be together and bullshit and. Play the new it was, god. It was a good time, yeah. Which yeah. hopefully isn't my hairy ass. It's gotta be good. <laughs> it literally it, it literally has to be good. It's weird because people are gonna judge you for saying that, or they're gonna be like, You you guys got your you guys get your hopes up every year. But is it just me or did we not get our hopes up the last two years? No, my hopes were like down. I was just hoping it was better than Vanguard and it wasn't even close <laughs> to as good as Vanguard. <laughs> I was just like, I hope it's better than Vanguard. And then it came out. Hey, it's me again to bother you today. Uh, we're talking about DraftKings. Can you believe that we've had seven months without an NFL game? It's crazy, right? Well, good thing that that is over. The NFL is here and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner with, of the NFL, is giving you a can't miss offer for week number one. This week, new customers can get $200 in bonus bets instantly when you bet just five bucks on any NFL game. DraftKings is hooking everyone up with game day greatness. All customers can take advantage of two new offers that are off, that are put up every single day. All you got to do is check the app. Download now and use code OPTIC to sign up. New customers can take home $200 in bonus bets instantly just for betting five bucks. That's code OPTIC only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. The crown is yours. We'd also like to welcome back the Wallace Warriors. Optic is dedicated to giving back to current U.S. military members and veterans by teaming up with USAA to create a new program within Optic Nation, the Wallace Warriors. Exclusive to U.S. military members and veterans, the Wallace Warriors uh, program gives you a free Optic Nation gold membership along with the opportunity to receive a Founders Coin entry into two. Online Call of Duty tournaments hosted by Optic Gaming with $5,000 prize pools. Those are always a lot of fun. Love watching those. Um, exclusive benefits at live events just for the Wallace Warriors and an exclusive Discord channel within Optic Discord just for the Warriors. For you guys to hang out, talk, communicate, link up. It's always a great time. Visit our website to sign up at optic.link slash WW. Uh, verify your government, government ID status with ID.me and wait for confirmation email for your free Optic gold optimization gold membership also be sure to sign up for our free 
entry, a $5,000 COD tournament that's happening on September 16th. It's a completely free event made just for the Wallace Warrior members. Uh, 4v4 S&D tournament and only one person per team needs to be a Wallace Warrior. So grab your three friends, play some Call of Duty. And if you're not sure what Obligation is, I mean, it's the, it's the new place to be. It's the home of the, dedi- uh, the most dedicated members of the Green Wall, the gathering place for our most dedicated members, and it also offers exclusive optic content merchandise and first access to live event tickets and much, much more. It is available for everyone, but we are making it free for our veterans. You can learn more at nation.opticgaming.com. That's nation.opticgaming.com to get access to everything optic and join the most dedicated members of the Green Wall. There's just no reason to not be optimistic. Like what? Like yeah. oh wow, it's gonna like what's the point of saying oh yeah, it's probably gonna be shit. Like everything that's came out so far is, is looks it looks good, it looks fun. So why would I say anything other than that? I think it's gonna be good. Everyone's just so negative nowadays, and especially I feel like the competitive scene because we look at the game in a very different lens. Where it's like we're very critical of different components compared to like the casual fan base. Like all my friends from home, they loved like MW 2019 search. It was like the time of their life. Yeah, and I'm like. But because it's we look at it in such like a unique perspective yeah, yeah. where it's like we're looking at spawns and like why this happens. So it's just different. But based on everything that's leaked so far, how can you say anything other than this is going to be a fun time? Like it, it that's looks kinda good. That's kind of how I feel. I mean, it's the maps that we know. It's the, I mean, it's got dead silence, it's got red dots. My got only s- hope. Slide canceling, fast I movement, think it's going to be. 150 it, health. At the very least, I genuinely do think it's going to be better than the last two years. I, if it's worse than the last two years, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> the last two years have been pretty hard to get through as like a Call of Duty like fan and lover. You know, like yeah. the past two years have been pretty difficult yeah. to get through. Dog, to think about, think, think about all the shit that. <laughs> I mean, Warzone hasn't been good. Warzone, Warzone Verdansk. I'm not sure if it was like the, the time period because obviously it was locked down and like everybody yeah. was playing celebrities, athletes. Yeah, I think that's what it was. But, but I also think the game was really good and I feel like they overcomplicated the shit out of Warzone and it, it kind of like took a lot of people away from it because like you added so many like just different things. But I think in the trailer there was like a Verdance flashback. Like I actually think, like we're talking about Call of Duty. I understand like like people probably think I get paid to say this shit. We don't get paid to say anything. No. Like it's Call of Duty. Like they, if anything, they can make happens. they can make the best game of the year, and it, no one would bat an eye. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah, it's one of the most iconic franchises ever. So my only hope is that there's like original like new maps too, because so far only leaked is like the old school maps, which I think is cool. But at the same time, like I don't want people to get bored because I'm not sure how much people can play High Rise and Terminal this in 2023 and be okay with it for a full year like they're I, also is, they're gonna have to release like some new original like maps a whole new generation of people who that's, haven't that's what i'm thinking. touched it i played those maps at all that's a good point like you gotta like, think literally at all yeah and they're like, gonna fucking love I, it i, I don't know man it, it, it imagine cs2 came out without dust 2 but imagine, i would yeah i do agree like though new halo, maps gotta have new maps like imagine a halo like i, I think halo could play on sanctuary or like midship forever I, I think there are things, there are maps that are so staple to franchises that maybe you'll get bored, but it, you'll always know what you're going to get. And it's always exciting to watch, in my opinion. Like that, like this, I watch a lot of Smash and they've been playing on the same stages for 20 years. So it's like, same with Counter Strike. Same with what? League of Legends, right? They've been playing yeah. on the same map. Summoner's for, Rift. Yeah. So it's like, <gasps> shit, I think. Shit like, hasn't changed. I think. Oh, I don't know about that. I think Raid, I think. Like terminal or raid and high rise really are the the biggest two for me. That it's like I don't think, I think those are perfect maps. Like, I think they could be in every COD and like it would be fine. I th- I think yes, we need to make new maps, but there hasn't been a map made in the last five years that I think is like a <laughs> legendary map. Like oh, a map yeah, that yeah. every time it comes out, That's you're fine. like, wow. I liked Gunrunner a lot. I'm not sure if that's like an unpopular opinion. I, I like Gunrunner. I like Gunrunner. I like Berlin. Um, you're, you liked Berlin? Yeah, you're tweaking. Am I? Yeah. The black map? Really? The like dark Berlin? map? I thought Berlin was, was a good map. I liked Gunrunner. I liked Berlin. <laughs> like, wh- I thought Berlin was. A, I bl- thought I thought Berlin was a solid map. Those don't even. What was it? What, what was the best? Map. I'm not talking about solid. Tuscan was the best map in Vanguard. I liked Tuscan. 
Tuscan was the best map in Vanguard. You mean like iconic, like iconic map? Like you're when right. You pull, when you think of Call of Duty, you think of this map. When was the last time a map came out that was like that? Well, maps just aren't made like they used to. Like now, now they're all like. I really do feel like maps are made with Warzone in mind for the most part, where it's like they take like miniature parts of maps yeah, or the Warzone map and they put it into the game and they make it bigger. Um, and I could be wrong. Like they, they could be original maps, but I, map design is very different these days. Yeah. Like it's just it's a different like one of one. Yeah. But I don't know. We're not, what, what was the last like perfect map you think? Like the last perfect mm -hmm. map. What was that map on BO4? The one with the sliding doors? I like that map. Arsenal? Arsenal. Arsenal, yeah. Arsenal, was, Arsenal good. was good. Arsenal was good. Frequency was pretty good. I think Frequency yeah, was, Freak was good. And then Fringe and Black Ops 3 was good. I think Black Ops 3 had amazing maps. Yeah, Fringe the, and Black Ops 3 was good. War War 2 had a had a really good map. I know... Um, what, War War 2 had some good maps, actually. What Flag was, Tower? Flag, I wouldn't, uh, Flag Tower was a good, fun map, but I wouldn't call it like a super iconic... Uh, I actually like St. Marie a lot. St. Marie Dumont and... And uh, World pretty, War II. It was pretty good. London so Docks. Oh, that state, Docks. Though. Docks was a good map. I think Docks was the best. London yeah, Docks was, was a great map. Docks was a good map. Like Do the most notable. Do Docks was a really yeah. good map. That's probably the most notable. Like, Which is weird because right. I didn't like that game at We're like all, a random think, person would know. I think since since Boots on the Ground came back. I wish that game had Docks color. might be the best. If that game had color, I feel like I'd have such a different like that game was hard to community look at. response yeah, it was just like it just you, you got no dopamine from looking at the screen. Yeah. But fundamentally and competitively and everyone calls me biased because it's one of my best games, but like it was actually a good fundamental game. Out of like the most recent past five CODs, fundamentally, it was World War II. That's number one. Probably, which is fucking Easily. sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it's is. Really, it's really sad to think It, it is it. really sad. But I, I think, like, imagine, I think if... What in, were the last five CODs? MW2, sorry. No, you're MW, fine. MW2, MW2, Vanguard, Cold War. MW19. MW2019, and then Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4, yeah. Okay. Well, so Black, no, Ops 4. Yeah, Black Ops 4 Black fucks Ops. up World War II. Well, no, Cold War was also great. Fundamentally, Cold, Cold War was great. Fundamentally, Cold War and World War II shit on Black Ops 4. Fundamentally. I like, oh, fuck, it was fun. Yeah, no, but fuck, yeah. <laughs> I mean, all three, of those, all three of those games had traditional spawns, which I think is like the overall. Yeah, that's the thing that we kind of don't know right now is there's what the spawn system is going to be like. There's next no year. way the spawns are going to be traditional. There's no way. Yeah, don't there's even, not a shot. Don't even get it in your head. No, yeah, I agree. There's not a so? chance in hell. It's a it's an it's a MW engine on a sledgehammer game. I just hope Warzone's good. I want like fun I would love, slide canceling like I want Verdansk, to be able, Warzone. Verdansk oh, yeah. was like after playing Verdansk and then going to Caldera the next year. It's like oh, it wasn't miserable. It was miserable. It was it was probably one of the biggest letdowns ever. And then we went to this new fucking map. What's the new uh, Albagra? Almazra. Yeah. Almazra. Almazra. What the fuck? Whatever it's called. I mean, it like. If Warzone's good, I'm gonna be hype because like, I, I want to play Warzone. Verdansk was too. a grand time. I would play Warzone because you could Verdansk. scrim, you could scrim to go play Verdansk, and everybody's playing Verdansk. See, that's the thing. You and say it, all your clips are on your feed or Verdansk, and it was Verdansk, like yeah. it was kind of like it was kind of like a little smaller, like like the Fortnite boom was ginormous, but the Warzone boom was similar. It's not on the same scale. Like no, like the Warzone boom not even close. It was, so it was comparable. It boomed. It, boomed. it boomed. it was definitely comparable. Not like Fortnite. Well, like I said, not Fortnite, even close yes, to Fortnite, yes, Fortnite's, but Fortnite's it was like way, was way bigger. But like the next best thing, I think, was the Warzone Verdance thing. Yeah, that was. As Fort far as BRs are concerned, I can I can agree. That's with the thing. That. You say you want to play competitive and do all this. What if Warzone comes out and it's fucking great? But it won't come out for months after. I don't think it comes out in December. I think it comes out a month after the release. I could that's, always. That's how it's been. Like really? that's how they've been doing it. I mean, I I think you're like right now. I'm doing five six hour streams somewhat consistently. Like when the new COD comes out, like and I'm actually enjoying it, I'll do ten hour streams. Like I'll play six hours of competitive and four hours of Warzone. It just right now, it's just like Apex. I have a lot of fun on, but like bad days of Apex are miserable, and great days are good. Whereas <sighs> like Call of Duty, like especially if there's like a rank play and I can just solo queue with music in, I'll play that fucking shit all day. But I do want to. I just have the competitive itch. I really do. So I just want to. And I, I, I just think that's like super no fun to watch. No rank plays coming out off release right now, right? No, no. way, no that way. It's not gonna come out for six, six months. months. <laughs> <laughs> Put that shit away. Huh? Put that shit away. <laughs> it's filthy. Fuck show. Mm -mm. Uh, have you guys played this new uh, Bethesda game, Starfield? Nope. Not no, heard I've about been it. Seen people talking about. It. Wait, it's the first new IP from that studio in twenty nine years. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I guess they've just been doing Elder Scrolls, right? Uh, Fallout. Oh, Fallout. Fallout. Elder Scrolls. Oh, uh, like the first else? new, like new actual, new, new actual game. What okay, okay. Make? What else do they make, Bethesda? They they have to have other crazy games. Let's see. Yeah, 
I but I never really like play. As for Tom, sure. I never really like play games like what that. The? Oh, is it oh the shit! She's heard on this. Damn uh, Fallout, Elder Scrolls, uh, Sk- well, Skyrim, Dishonored, Doom. They made Doom as well. Is Borderlands? Bethesda? No, Borderlands is Gearbox. Sure. Sure. Yeah. You guys saw London uh, rebranded or relocated yeah, to, to Carolina. Nice. You think it's dope? I kind of fucking hate I mean, it. I mean, Bethesda makes wait, good products. Why? They do. I just, I don't like us losing the UK. Yeah, I don't either, but it's like, Especially it doesn't make London. sense when there's, a, I mean, like, the only thing I hate about it is like, there's oh, only like from one. There. You might be a little biased to this. There's only like one UK team, I, so it's like. I have an extreme love hate for this. I, I personally hate it just because I think the UK, like London fan base, every time we go there is probably the best. Yeah, I do have. think there should be events over there for sure. Like, I don't see, uh, I mean, I'm if sure it's not, yeah. money we, standpoint. We, but we like, need an event. Like, like we literally need an event in London. Not only because it's like the most fun. It's the most, like when I went there, that was the most insane. That was what, 20, whatever. But I mean, the fans are like, the they fans actually, are super passionate there. And they, they know they're not getting a lot of tournaments. So when there is a tournament, they show out. Yes. They come, they get drunk, they do the chants. Like, yeah, yeah. I think I think we need an event in London next year too, and that's coming from someone that hates flying overseas. So, but I think I definitely think so as well, bro. Events in London are just fucking different. It, they won't they won't do champs in London, but like even like a kickoff event, like they should do champs. In London. I don't care what has to be done. That but like, would be insane. So like if they if like the game came out and they told you when champs was gonna be, but kept all the other events. A secret so that motherfuckers could prepare for it like if you actually have the money to go from here to london I get what you're saying. to watch like you got time to yeah. what it'll be crazy it'll be crazy like the initial announcements like like london this, champs yeah soon the rest soon to be announced yeah. like the the first announcement just london champs <laughs> that, that shit would be so crazy that'd be sick we, everyone Bro, would go to that they would need a stadium stadium yeah for that. <laughs> like everyone would go to that shit Apex Worlds begins tomorrow. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's keep talking about this rebrand thing real quick. Okay, go ahead. So, you guys both being from Jersey. Yeah. If there was a CDL team mm-hmm. that came into Jersey, what would, what would be a good mascot that you guys would want? What? Jersey mascot? The yeah, like... Sig is there, is there some- <laughs> no. See, Jersey has a bad rep because of fucking... The Newports? Because of the maybe smell like of a, Newark Airport and then uh, Jersey Maybe Shore. like some mafia kind of... Something maybe a guy way. in a tuxedo something like downtown, or something. like vibe. Kind a wise of guy. Yeah, like some sort of like. Not sure. You're on the right guy. track. Sure. Something that wise makes guys. Sense. They walk on the stage with fucking cigars. Yeah, just wise guys. Well, what are we doing? Here? <laughs> <laughs> that'd be, that'd that would just got slammed. Be absolutely. That guy tried challenging. I put him down. <laughs> <laughs> I got my father from, in the crowd. Are you from Philly? Like a mascot? Yeah. Like what would what would you want? your rebranded team like imagine the paris legion at the time the philadelphia going, hoagies something like that the hell Why a cheesesteak a guy in a yeah, cheesesteak philadelphia hoagies so it would be fun there'd be know. a mass there'd be a cheesesteak with a face i mean that's obviously that's off the dome but i i don't know i mean i get where you're but you guys are on the same track dog this blew my fucking mind wait there is nothing royal or raven equivalent to north carolina like nothing, nothing. I see it what makes you're saying. No sense at all. Well, it's not. It's not even the North. It's the Carolina. It's the which which I mean, which is fine. Carolina Panthers, Carolina Hurricanes. Like yeah. we have that, but like the Panthers makes sense. It's just a generic mascot. The the Hurricanes make sense. The Hurricanes always there. Yeah, it actually know. makes no sense. Oh, I get like it. Like Royal Ravens, they just took the Royal Ravens and they put them in North Carolina. Like, I think yeah, if you're they gonna might make, have to fully rebrand. If you're going to make a North Carolina team, make them something like Southern related or something I like North saying. Carolina related that like people from North Carolina can rally get behind, behind it. Yeah. Cause like <laughs> it, now yeah. it's like, what do you mean? We have like a, a European Raven. team in Charlotte. That's what it feels like. It's just, there's a random European team in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I, I was like hoping that they would call them like the Carolina Reapers you know what I mean? Or the Carolina. No, they can't call them the Carolina Reapers. That's that'd probably, be hard. That's probably so trademarked that you, uh, know, you're, you're not. Go crazy. Yeah, that'd be fine. No, it actually would be, but something there's just like, no way. What, and the fucking logo is just the Carolina yeah. Reapers? Yeah, or something like that. No, it's got to like be a reap, like a fucking. That's what oh, I was thinking. Oh, so right. that would be or sick. Like that, that would be insane. That would like actually be sick. more Lotus shirt right there. There's like mad, like old wives tales like or like, like the. Texas. Yeah, I got it because I live in Texas. Wow. Thanks, Jen. From where? We're in Lotus. Appreciate the. Uh, that's fire? I appreciate the insight. Yeah, no, like that's crazy. That is sick. I buy a lot of his shit. But oh, yeah. Oh anyway, God. I'm. Fuck. 
<laughs> excited that there's a North Carolina team. Now it's it's officially my second favorite team. I never had a second favorite team, but now I do. That's dope. Uh, but I'm also super bummed about that they didn't re- that they didn't rebrand. Like mad bummed. See, when shit like this happens, do you think they just X London, like events and shit, like overseas, pretty much out of the equation now? I don't think so. Everyone's under one umbrella. I think too many people want it. Like, if if, if they don't give us the London event this upcoming year, I'd be really upset. I think think it's a kick in the face if they give us one this year. You think so? They get rid of all the London teams. Oh, and then then they throw a London event. Yeah, but that wouldn't make any sense. I don't think Activision wanted, like, this was this probably came from the London organization, like to rebrand. I doubt the league was like you have to rebrand in the U.S. I think there was like a, I, I don't know, but well, I think I don't it, think it was like hey you have to rebrand. I think it was more so like a org decision, and then they, they got approval. I just think what they're I, doing what like I assume. a, a I don't really system know. here. You might as well have everybody in the U.S. if you're doing everything here. Everybody's that's ready here anyway. Of, but um, that's how they had it anyway. So they might as well be the whatever. But if it expands, and I just shit, I just hope that. They keep the team like a UK based team. Like I don't want to see yeah. UK players continuing to get shafted because there's no like UK based team. Because UK players always get shafted because if you if you're not signed early, you can't really get signed mid season because there's visa complications. Visa, yeah. So like no matter how good these UK challenger players are, like that guy Vortex is probably I think he's won more in challengers than anybody, and he hasn't gotten a team. It's just like there there are a lot of capable UK players that just haven't gotten a shot because the visa complications. Th- that's why uh, the Spanish team the the heretics just signed five players to start with because they don't want to deal with like a mid-season we need to sign a player thing it's like we're going to yeah. sign five of the best guys right now and then we'll figure out the roster as we go like it just it, it, it there's so many issues when it comes to visas i just hope that the team actually stays because we can't afford to have less uk players you know what i mean like, like we can't afford to yeah, become a fully based na league i just yeah. i don't know what i mean i don't know if they, I, I think it would be fucked up for them to throw. I, I, I want an event in London really bad, but I, I would like to have like a classic like MLG CDL, CWL style event in London. Yeah, you no, know? no, like no, just no, that's what I mean. Like everyone a, goes out there. And yeah, they all play. Not like a, because because now you get rid of the Legion, you get rid of the Royal Ravens. Those were the only two teams, right? Yeah, yeah. You had Paris and, and you had London. And now, the next year that they're both gone, we throw a fucking event in I don't know I, I just think it but then again like I think it has to happen. Gonna throw an event in Charlotte that shit would be fire <laughs> <laughs> would be nice. I respectfully I hope that Charlotte's not one of the locations I, mean, I know I, I know you do I agree M- my ideal locations are like London Toronto New York City here Anaheim. Boston mm-hmm. Boston was cool Anaheim like yeah like the like places you know you're gonna get the big crowds with the yeah. iconic like sort of because I feel like Toronto has sort of secured their, like, I feel like like the yearly Toronto trip should be a staple. Like, that's a good trip. Could they throw a great event? I thought Boston was great. Maybe I'm biased because I played for Boston and I retired there. But, like, everyone loved the Boston event. The The crowd was crazy. Obviously, the events here are always crazy. New York City was great when we had it. Um, respectfully to Charlotte, I just hope it's, like, sort of the those cities. I mean, I doubt they're going to go to Charlotte and then the same year they yeah, host no way. a major. But who knows? Apex Worlds does begin tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, what are we sir. doing about that? Are we going to try to watch party? It begins at 4 a.m. every day. We have a decision to make. We look like the most loyal, dedicated motherfuckers in the world, and we're on early with coffee, or we just sleep and say it was at 4 a.m. I'm actually, I'm not sure about 4 a.m. We could probably do like a 6 a.m. We'll talk. But I think our boys play at 4. <laughs> we'll talk. Our boys play at 4? Yeah, well, 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 four tomorrow. Play at four. Don't everybody play? Doesn't everybody play no, at 4? No, there's different heats. No, there's different heats. So oh okay. It's like a it's like pool play and then bracket play and then. Lose. How many teams are there? I don't know. That's a good. It's got to be like forty or I think sixty, it's like right? Forty, some forty-eight. So was it two heats then? Because two there's because each game is twenty teams. Two heats. The top ten qualify for finals. Dude, I I actually can't wait to watch that because like, like Apex Endgame might be like the best esports like culmination Atmosphere ever. Dude, it's, it's there's so fourteen sick. teams alive in the final circle and it's just fucking. Horizon a wall. I mean, even fucking when, bang all. It's even just, when you're playing, it's like the end game. Is, it's the most fun time of the so world. Dope. It's the, it's so the most much fun. happening and Dude, like it's so sick. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of down to to try to get on watch party, but 4 a.m. is 4 a.m. is crazy. That's early. I'm gonna. But need, people would also yeah. understand if we're a little like destroyed. Just 
I just like, oh, you got to kill. <laughs> just like, if, if we're tired, like, they'll have to understand. I mean, the stream's off at 10 a.m. It's, it's, it's not going to be a 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. or no it's gonna be absolutely like, not it's gonna be a normal six to seven hour stream i wonder how many people <laughs> i think our entire chat would just be uk it'd be like a fucking it'd be like it'd be like such a different look just because it's 10 a.m there nah, and people then people are gonna wake up to watch this 100 percent. it's fucking worlds it's For their sure. it's their you biggest, think so it's yeah. their biggest tournament let's people, just do it fuck it let's do it wake i'll up, set the alarm right now people wake up at 4 a.m to watch biz, soccer games i can't believe i'm doing this biggest tournament i'll set it right now three oh, I woke up at, yeah yeah I woke up at 3 a.m. to watch the People wake up at US fucking 3 a.m. to watch team. cars go on a track. <laughs> yeah, fucking true. F1. Yeah, Here it is. 3.32 and 3.45 a.m. Alarms are set. I'm going to fucking be... Like, I'm going to feel like alarm. I'm in war when I wake up to that. Be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? You go up, you turn on the street. Yeah, what you can't door dash What anything. the hell is that? It's going to be insane. There's no... You, you, can't actually, even, you can't even get coffee that early. You can't DoorDash anything. You can't DoorDash. You can't. I mean, I don't have a coffee Actually, maker. Actually, McDonald's might be DoorDashable. Yeah, it'll be open right yeah, there, no, right there in the good. corner. Trust. You think I need that? Me. Oh wait, can you no. could you uh could you maximize this, please? I can't really see it though. Three thirty. What the fuck? Thank like you. The purge. Okay, so we're we play at four. So what group or what heat are we in? A. So we're in we're in with TSM. Jesus Christ. Fanatic Oxygen. Oxygen's good now, apparently too. Yeah, oxygen and TSM. But so apparently groups? our team's really good. Apparently our team's really good. It's like right no, now no, people are saying TSM Dark Zero Optic. Or yeah, like, we're, we're looking really good in scrims. Um, wait, I'm confused actually. How does that work? So there's four. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, so there's four heats, and the uh, fuck? group stage. Group stage for two days: Wednesday, Thursday. Bracket play on. Uh, on Friday, so it, hold the so the, the losing the losing squad they make two. I think people get eliminated from group stage if you Why? don't make the top. Why is there four and a half hours in between the? That's how matches, long right? the heat's gonna take. There's gonna be like six games, so it's gonna be like a tw so oh, it's so twelve. Oh, so there's oh, dude, X amount of Apex teams. Days? Yeah, yeah. We, we're B, gonna watch like two of, of those and then get the fuck off. You think I'm sitting there from ten to seven? You think I'm waking up at four a.m. to watch for nine hours? Depends. You're off your gosh darn. Because that starts at seven. That that's not that's gonna go from like seven to eleven. Depends if they're gifting, dude. That's gonna be a twelve-hour stream. <laughs> they're gifting. I'm on Apex. Apex. You know what I'm Mark, they're gifted. I can't turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm be there all day. The Thanks. first the first day that or the no, first no, no, time no, no, I watched no. the Apex Boys play, I was like, holy shit, it doesn't stop. Wait, it I'm literally actually, doesn't stop. I'm actually super down to wake up and watch this. I this I, is I, I just set my alarms. You just saw that I'm waking up at three thirty in the morning. You're 100 percent doing it. The alarms haven't been turned off gonna yet. Be if we wake up at that time, it's gonna be good. Good UK. You good still? It's Apex, nine in the yeah. morning. What nine in the morning UK when you wake up? Ten in the morning? Yeah. People. I mean, people are gonna like people. It's wor it's a world champion. People are gonna love that shit. <laughs> Especially like the fuck the kids showing like four a.m. in East states. I wonder what happened. You guys are gonna be the introduction to a lot of these guys, like a lot of the optic fan base is like seeing these guys play because yeah. they've only played. It's a, it's a relatively new team in comparison to the team that we initially picked up, and it's they haven't even been day. here. Fuck it, let's do it. I'm just concerned how viewership is going to be at 4 a.m. We don't know until we find out. There we go. We'll give it a test, and if it doesn't go well, just press the red button. <laughs> <laughs> that, if that number's where you don't, that number is not what you like. You just press the red button. You got a blast. You got a blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the worst part is he's not lying he'll actually do it he's got a blast <laughs> uh, okay so it looks like we're uh we're gonna try to watch party tomorrow at 4 a.m i mean i i wish we would have played in like the second heat but i mean we're in the same group as tsm like we gotta get the fuck on yeah, no. I mean, it's going to be a fun watch. And we're going to be talking shit on yeah, Hal. It's a, it, it's a $2 million prize pool. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Optics are number one, and then I'm rooting for Hal number yeah. two. If, if we we've don't been playing a lot Hal, with Hal. Yeah. Because we fucking that guy's fucking. We love that him. guy's dumb. That guy loves us. It's more of an obsession think, from his end than us. he loves us after our last session. He does. It went bad. No, he does. He's in chat and shit, tweeting me. Sure. It's an obsession. So, number one Optic, number two, TSM. Who Who's our number three team, if neither of them win? Um, I'm going oxygen, Boston Breach. I might go phase because of snipe down. That's fair. I'll go 100 T because kind of insane made. to say because <laughs> of made. Yeah, I'm gonna go breach. I'm rooting for phase. <clears throat> if the other two don't win. Yeah. 
but optic, I like I like sniped out. optic TSM oxygen. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. So is it uh, is the last day of it's on Sunday? So that's the thing. That's that's where it kind of gets weird because obviously football Sunday. Football Sunday. I will not be live on that day. You won't be live at all. Nope. But what if it starts hella early and we can like actually watch it before football starts? Oh, if it starts like early that's and like what I'm saying. What we if, can because like. I just don't want to get off at like the pinnacle to watch football because once like once you start the stream, you are expected to watch the best moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be like, okay, got to go watch football and finals are starting. You have to watch the <laughs> fucking final. That's what I did for the engagement party. No, I was about to say. I was about to bring. Well, that works. Kind of that's different. Though. No, that was great. Do it again. <laughs> Go to more engagement parties. I had 18,000 viewers. I was like, ah. <laughs> ah. And I got nameless spamming me. It's your draft pick. I said, dude, Jeez. I have 18,000 yeah, so viewers. Yeah, so you had 18Ks, right? He's, he's like, yo, you got to pick. I was like, dude, shut your trap. <laughs> I'm entertaining the masses right now. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for episode 139 of the Optic Podcast. Uh, catch us for 140. See ya. That's how we. It's a lot of episodes. <laughs> See ya. That's a See lot ya. of podcasts. Peace. See ya. Later.